Don't worry about to get into trouble. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so, we've obviously been talking about Baroness Thatcher today and the legacy that she has left. Did she leave a positive legacy for you? Not or? really, no, because, I mean, I was living in Liverpool. I was in the Toxteth riots. Like, we got... I've always sort of ended... If there's been a riot, I've always found myself in the middle of it. And don't ask me how. <laughs> like, the poll tax riots, we went down. It was a peaceful demo, and it was the police who started that. I'm sorry, I saw that firsthand. They were so violent, they went wading in. And it was obviously they'd been told, just get them, just decimate them, wipe them off the streets. Liverpool, it was a, a tinderbox waiting to explode at the time of the Toxteth riots. But you nobody got, helped them, did they? Nobody, nobody helped them. If you're black in Liverpool and you're walking down up a Parliament Street, you'd be stopped by the police and searched. Mm -hmm. If you had a decent car and you were black, you'd be stopped and questioned. Mm -hmm. If you were out and about, they did club raids, everything. It was not a good place. And mm -hmm. poverty was so extreme at the time. It's still bad now. It is. But it was really bad then. And there was no help. And after the riots, it all came out, didn't it, in those documents that Baroness Thatcher said, I'm washing my hands of that city, leave them to it. Mm -hmm. You can't say that. No. It's not just about the South. And I'm with you. The North was decimated with what happened to the miners. Mm -hmm. I mean, guaranteed the miners split. Yeah. You know, if, I think if well, it split brother against brother, exactly. father against son. And there were deaths there, you know, in the, up there. It was shocking what happened. And whole communities closing down because mm. of the pits. That's right. That's right. Appalling. You know, the poverty. That's what I mean. I find it unless you've been there and done it and like we did. Remember when we did the clubs right yeah. up north at the yeah. time? You noticed. So a year before, you do like the Keithley Funhouse. Yeah. That's an oxymoron. Believe you me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Believe you me. Not fun about it. But times were hard and friends with you, so you went where the work was. Yeah. And, um, That's right. and it was packed with miners and factory workers. <clears throat> yeah. A year later, empty. Nothing. Yeah. Nobody had any money. But do you, do you think, like, I mean, in a way, I do think that um, she is vilified more because she was a woman who did these oh, things. Oh, most definitely. Uh, yeah, because if, yeah. if a man had done all that, it would be like, oh, you know, he's got to do his job. But because she seems so ruthless and so, you know, heartless in a way with, with the she people was, in the North... Yeah. I think she 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 People suffered expected more. her to be more compassionate well, yeah. because she was a woman, but she when, still had the same job to do. Well, she was blinked, I think, towards the yeah. end. Completely blinked. She wouldn't listen to anybody. She didn't. Know? No. You know, she had her own. That was it. Her own mind. And regardless to who suffered or whatever, this is it. I'm still. She had a thing about not going back and mm. losing face. Not like this lot we've got now. We make one decision on a Monday. They do a and year then on Tuesday. at lunchtime. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I mean, a bedroom tax. What next? Duvet taxes? <laughs> Hello taxes? <laughs> it's not the tax. Past the past the past tax. tax. Static Tadavanka. I mean, it's like the Sheriff of Nottingham. I can see Cameron sitting there and saying, <laughs> What can we do today? I know, we'll tax hamsters. Anybody with a hamster must pay 99 pence in the pounds. <laughs> and if they've got a wheel, it's the full but pounds. That, I, think that's, <laughs> I think that's, what, that's one of the most depressing. Them things about her. You know, whatever you think about her, whatever she did, she had that steely determination oh. and, and she was very, very determined. And what's most depressing, I think, is the fact that there is nobody now who has that. No, they, of course they, they they're haven't. all weak willed yeah. lily. No one's yeah. given yeah. any real yeah. power. Yeah. That Nellies, a lot of them. They yeah. are. They they are. are. They are loads we need they are. someone to get us out of this mess now yeah. and we haven't got anybody. No, and there's it's nobody. We're not going to get him. it with this coalition. Well, do you think she is a good or was a good example to women? Um, depends what sort of woman you were. If you were Catherine de' Medici <laughs> or Attila the Huns missus. Yeah, no, most definitely, yes, probably. No, look, look, she was a very determined and forceful woman and she was in a man's game politics. And I reckon they gave her a really rough time. Mm. You know, there was... So she was on her own. And I think that sort of clouded her judgment. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't part of that club either, was no, she? No, Because they were in the Tory party at the time. They were all eating educated. Oh, they were all... Well, she wasn't, you see. They, they held that class. against her. Exactly. Same with John Major. You know, his mm. father was a That's musical right. artist. Mm. So he was known. He was condemned he was for that. Because well. he didn't go to Cambridge and his mother wasn't Lady Hoo-Ha, you know, mm. riding mm. bareback or bare saddle or side saddle, whatever it's called, round mm. the downs every day. She did Do show women, didn't didn't she, though, that you could be whatever well, you wanted to be? Do women need to be shown? Yeah, I don't. You know, I, and and then, at that time, I think we did, actually. Yeah, I don't think you do, cos I don't think you lot know how powerful you are. You know, yeah. you don't need anybody women, to show but we're you. We're post-Margaret no, Thatcher now. No, I think when she have, first came to the power... The women in the North had to work. Because that was the only people who could work. Well, they were supporting the no, families, look in the mind. Exactly. Strike, you know, the women. You know that, that's what turned it around, really, because the women had no choice. They had to go out. Yeah. I mean, at the time, I remember doing endless benefits for the miners, mm. you know, mm. support the miners, support. And uh, you yeah. see these banners, gays support the miners. You'd be all these drag queens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bag on fire. <laughs> <laughs> no lily there with the handbag. Yeah. <laughs> and what about, what about what 
what's been said about <laughs> she apparently um, used her feminine wiles to Switch get what on she wanted. Well, well she, she could she use. Up, she could wear a split skirt, leather skirt, and a belly and a striped top, and work on me. But <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't see that as, as weak. Well, it depends what you say by feminine wiles. Batten eyelids. Now, if a man did that, he'd, that would be called that would be sexual abuse. Mm. So if mm. a man did that high, yeah. Now if Mrs. Thatcher went high, mm. that's fine. She's mm. using a fat. But if a man did that, he touched me. Which yeah. gets on my nerves all this because yeah. it dilutes yeah, the real no. issues about no. rape and abuse yeah. because yeah. somebody's had a hand put on the yeah. knee. But I'm then, sorry. Then, mm. then again, she, you know, she, she used to be able to turn the tears on. Did that? Apparently. Too. Apparently. I can't see her crying. No. no. She did, well, I, th I can see her crying. I mean, I maybe in private, but not in public. No, I think she was so emotionally committed. Uh, every fibre of that woman's being was committed to the job, and with that comes emotion. And I think it's healthy, and I do. I can see her crying, but for the right reason. She did cry when she got booted out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and that, that was basically it. Like she, she came does. out. As, yeah. yeah. She well, had been crying. Well, and, she, and absolutely, because the whole of her cabinet turned against her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know, you know, it's, uh, do you know I find difficult speaking ill of the dead? Yeah, well, exactly, <laughs> I mean, that's I'm, what we said earlier, you know, somebody has, yeah. has passed yeah. away and there's a, there's well, a family to family, think about. You know, exactly, And I was yeah. at a party a couple of years ago at the Gordon Hotel and somebody said, would you like to meet Margaret Thatcher? And before I could say anything, she came up to me, this is before the dementia had really kicked in, and totally disarmed me. She's a very clever woman. She said, you do a wonderful... Pro you know, it was when I was doing the tea yeah, time yeah. show, and I thought, Maggie Thatcher watches me. <laughs> that wow. was the shock. Yes. Wow. And then she vanished. But a friend of mine said, didn't you spit in her face? I said, I'm not in the habit of spitting in 80-year-old women's faces. No. Especially if she's a viewer. Well, exactly, you know. I'm, I'm so sorry. I hate to cut you off, but thank you so no, much. We've welcome. run out of time. No. And thank you to Olga. Um, that is all for today. We'll see you tomorrow at 12.30. Have a lovely day.